Hello everyone. A parallel plate capacitor of area A, plate separation D and capacitance C is filled with three different dielectric materials having dielectric constant K1, K2 and K3 as shown in figure. If a single dielectric material is to be used to have the same capacitance C in this capacitor, then its dielectric constant K is given by. So you can look at the diagram here. The single capacitor, that means two parallel plate, is filled with a different dielectric constant. But here, now it will act as a different capacitors. That is, this one can be said as the capacitance C1 because it is filled with a dielectric constant K1. Same way, it is having an another capacitance, say it as C2. And same way, this is as the another capacitance C3. First of all, what is the capacitance C1 here? Capacitance C1 is equal to, we already know the basic formula. When something is filled here, we can write the formula here K times. Here it is K1 times, right? Epsilon 0 A divided by D. That is a formula here. But here you can see here area is half. That means it is filled only half area. So we can write here A by 2. And what about the D here? D is also become half. You can see here in this case what is the distance here? That is the D by 2. So what is the C1 here you got? C1 is equal to K1 times epsilon 0 A divided by D because these two, two cancel. Same way we can also write here C2, K2 times epsilon 0 A. What is A here? A by 2. What is D here? D by 2. So once again A by 2 divided by D by 2, 2, 2 cancel. So once again we are getting C2 is equal to K2 times epsilon 0 A divided by D. Same way now you can calculate what is the C3. C3 is equal to, it is filled in such a way that the distance is D by 2 and area there is no change. So we can write here what K3 times epsilon 0 area there is no change but there is a change in the distance. So we can write here that is equal to D by 2. So what is the C3 here? C3 is equal to 2 times K3 epsilon 0 A divided by D. So these are the three capacitors. Now you have to think about how these capacitors are connected. Is it in connected in series or it is connected in parallel? In order to understand that one, you just imagine you are providing a positive here and this is the negative here. So what will happen here? This plate become completely positive. This plate become completely positive and same way this plate become completely negative. Now you can look at here the C1 capacitance positive this plate and this plate also positive right. So this is a common potential right. So the C1 and C2 are connected in parallel. You can see here this is a negative so this side become negative and this side also become negative. So this side also become positive said also become positive so c1 and c2 are common potential is coming there so we can redraw the diagram as c1 and c2 are connected in parallel you can look at the diagram here c1 and c2 are connected in parallel so this is a c1 and this is the c2 which is connected to the positive terminal and now you can see here these two parallel capacitors are connected with the series in which one the C3 capacitance now you have to calculate here what is the equivalent capacitance so you can see here C1 and C2 are connected in parallel so if the C1 and C2 are connected in parallel you can once again redraw this is the net capacitance of C1 and C2 that means we can say here C1 plus C2 because these are parallel connection once again, there is one more capacitor is there that is equal to C3. Now effectively, how you can calculate the C equivalent? 1 by C equivalent is equal to, you can see here the C1 plus C2 and C3 are connected in series. So we can write the formula 1 by C1 plus C2 plus 1 by C3. Now you can substitute the value here. What is the 1 by C equivalent? 1 by C equivalent is equal to K times epsilon 0 A divided by D which is equal to 1 divided by, what is a C1? C1 is equal to K1 epsilon 0 A by D plus, what is C2? 
C2 is equal to K2 epsilon 0 A divided by D plus 1 by C3. What is the C3 value? It is given the 2 times K3 epsilon 0 A divided by D. So everywhere the epsilon 0 A by D will cancel here, right? If you take it as a common one. So what is the remaining equation? 1 by K is equal to 1 divided by K1 plus K2 plus 1 divided by 2 K3. So this is the final answer. Hope you understood this one. Thank you.